In this lesson, we're going to talk about the photo book under the Create tab. Now what I've done is, since I have an album, I'm allowed to rearrange photos, as you can see here. Because this first photo is the first photo that's going to be displayed in a lot of these um, different functions or commands or things to create. So I'd rather have the picture of the people than the picture of this boring hallway. Um, I just chose 11 random pictures. There's no theme or anything about it, but I just wanted to show you how these certain functions work. So go ahead and select the first photo, shift click the last photo, and let's select photo book. I changed the project bin down here to show um, file selected and organizer. Okay, here you can print locally or you can use the Shutterfly service. So we're going to print locally, supposedly. We have a choice to autofill with the selected images that I have down here. We can choose the number of pages, two, three, four, five, okay? And we can scroll and choose a, a certain theme. Now the ones with the kind of plus here, as you see, are um, for a paid service. Okay, so we can't use those. So we're going to come down here. It's alphabetized for you. And we're going to try school notes. We'll see how that works. Click OK. This will generate the preview. So you can imagine doing this at CVS or Walgreens, how this can save you some time. Um, if you wanted to choose that route. So you can have this done at home at your leisure and then send it to sh um, Shutterfly. Okay, this is the title page and then you can click to see the second page to see how it would look. Of course, in a photo book, you're going to need more than two pages, but we're just using two pages for the sample. Okay, I believe it's a minimum of 20 if I'm right. Okay, now the project bin, I'll say um, show file selected in the organizer. Okay. And here, if I want to add a couple more pages, I can do that. And then I can just go here and drag it, just like that, to my photo book. And instantly, I'm creating my photo book. I love it. OK, so let me go back here. I can go to Layout and change the layout. Maybe I want the layout as four across. So I double click on it. Photoshop Elements is going to work its magic. And this time, maybe I'm going to select some different photos. Maybe I'm going to choose this instead, and this instead, and maybe this Go East thing, okay? Once I'm happy with that, I can maybe choose different artwork. Maybe I don't like this kind of artwork. Maybe I want this brick wall because it reminds me more of the school that I went to, okay? And if I wanted to further do it, I can go to the text, and I can even add a text block and choose different styles to work with. So if I wanted to, let's just say your text here. So if I said, um, scrapbook for example okay click the green check mark at which time I can use the move tool over here and move this into place scrapbook year um, I can also double click it and at that point I can change the color the font and the size I still have some customizing I can do and I can even warp the text at that point if I wanted to if you don't like a photo you can always right click and just say clear photo which you can then, uh, or you can just drag another photo into its place. That's up to you. See, you can just drag another photo into its place. Or you could even say clear frame. That's up to you. So you have some choices. Once you're done, you can click print or you can click done. If you click done, you can save it. So if you want to come back to it later, add more photos, change the photos, you have that option. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about greeting cards.